Good afternoon. Today's run of the Wankel is somewhat different than my first three runs. <clears throat> Today I've got a 10-4 APC prop attached. I put my brass uh, exhaust header on there that I've crimped down some so it's tighter. I've got the needle valve set to two full turns from open instead of two and a half turns. And today the fuel I'm running is 5% Omega fuel. Now what I did with this was I put 24 ounces of 5%, straight 5% Omega into my old control line quart bottle and then added three ounces of caster to it. So I've got additional caster content. So those are the changes for today's run. Let's see how she does. Okay, so one of the instruction manuals I read said that if it RPM decreases like that and it stops, that it's too rich. But as soon as I leaned it, it died. So go figure. Let's take some temp readings here 138, 160, 213, 217. Maybe it overheated. Prop hub. Where are we seeing this hot spot? Feels really hot, so I'm thinking it was still too lean then. Let me reset this needle valve. I want to go two and a half turns again now. There's one. I'm going to let this cool for just a couple of minutes.
that time I put the glow igniter back on <coughs> at idle and it died. Let's put it back on, start it up, see if it'll fire up. It was idling fine until I put that igniter on. So let's try this one more time. Igniter's back on. My igniter died. I'm gonna let it cool for a couple minutes. I still have about a quarter of a tank left. All right, let's try and fire this thing up again. My igniter was not dead. <clears throat> I think the engine just overheated. down near the end of the tank. into the tank. <clears throat> okay, so I guess you could just consider this just a troubleshooting slash break-in slash run for the hell of it. I wasn't really trying to get peak readings. I'm just trying to figure out why the engine doesn't hold a high throttle or high RPM. Maybe it's because it needs more break-in. I don't know. Um, seems to idle pretty well. I know I shouldn't be monkeying with the air bleed idle screw until it's the top end set, but I did, and I think I was trying to get it to idle too low. Uh, it'll do about 3,200, and it's 3,400 maybe, and it seemed like it was pretty happy there. It has really good transition from that point on. There's still a little bit of fuel now. This tank is empty, and, and it just sucks. When it sucks the air bubble, it just dies like that. So anyway... Uh, is this the fourth tank? Fourth tank of fuel I've run through it. Uh, took some temp readings, basically just a troubleshooting run. So, hope you enjoyed it. It was in instructional for me anyway.